Matthew 6, 34. Therefore, do not worry about tomorrow, for tomorrow will worry about itself. Each day has enough trouble of its own. Philippians 4, 13. I can do all this through him who gives me strength. Isaiah 40, 31. Those who hope in the Lord will renew their strength. They will soar on wings like eagles. They will run and not grow weary. They will walk and not be faint. Matthew 6, 25 through 27. Therefore I tell you, do not worry about your life, what you will eat or drink, or about your body, what you will wear. Is not life more than food, and the body more than clothes? Look at the birds of the air. They do not sow or reap or store away in barns, and yet your heavenly Father feeds them. Are you not much more valuable than they? Can any one of you, by worrying, add a single hour to your life? Luke 21, 14. But make up your mind not to worry beforehand how you will defend yourselves. Psalm 55, 22. Cast your cares on the Lord, and he will sustain you. He will never let the righteous be shaken. 2 Timothy 1, 7. For the spirit God gave us does not make us timid, but gives us power, love, and self-discipline. Psalm 16, 8. I keep my eyes always on the Lord. With him at my right hand, I will not be shaken. Psalm 62, 6. Truly he is my rock and my salvation. He is my fortress. I will not be shaken. Psalm 17, 8. Keep me as the apple of your eye. Hide me in the shadow of your wings. Psalm 91, 4. He will cover you with his feathers, and under his wings you will find refuge. His faithfulness will be your shield and rampart. Isaiah 41, 10. So do not fear, for I am with you. Do not be dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you and help you. I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. Jeremiah 29, 11. For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord, plans to prosper you and not to harm you, plans to give you hope and a future. Romans 8, 28. And we know that in all things God works for the good of those who love him, who have been called according to his purpose. Psalm 28, 7. The Lord is my strength and my shield. My heart trusts in him and he helps me. Psalm 121, 1 through 2. I lift up my eyes to the mountains. Where does my help come from? My help comes from the Lord, the maker of heaven and earth. Psalm 112, 7. They will have no fear of bad news. Their hearts are steadfast, trusting in the Lord. Proverbs 3, 5. Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways acknowledge Him and He will direct your paths. Deuteronomy 1.31 There you saw how the Lord your God carried you, as a father carries his son, all the way you went until you reached this place. Philippians 4, 6 through 7. Do not be anxious about anything, but in every situation, by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, present your requests to God, and the peace of God, which transcends all understanding, will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. 2 Timothy 4, 7. I have fought the good fight. I have finished the race. I have kept the faith. Hebrews 12, 1 through 2. Therefore, since we are surrounded by such a great cloud of witnesses, let us throw off everything that hinders and the sin that so easily entangles, and let us run with perseverance the race marked out for us, fixing our eyes on Jesus, the pioneer and perfecter of faith, for the joy set before him, he endured the cross, scorning its shame, and sat down at the right hand of the throne of God. Psalm 46, 1. God is our refuge and strength, an ever-present help in trouble. John 14, 1. Do not let your hearts be troubled. You believe in God, believe in me also. Matthew 11, 28 through 30. Come to me, all you who are weary and burdened, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am gentle and humble in heart, and you will find rest for your souls. For my yoke is easy and my burden is light. 
Psalm 56, 3. When I am afraid, I put my trust in you. Deuteronomy 31, 6. Be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid or terrified because of them, for the Lord your God goes with you. He will never leave you nor forsake you. Romans 8, 31. What then shall we say in response to these things? If God is for us, who can be against us? Proverbs 24, 14. Know also that wisdom is like honey for you. If you find it, there is a future hope for you, and your hope will not be cut off. Psalm 34, 4 through 7. I prayed to the Lord, and he answered me. He freed me from all my fears. Those who look to him for help will be radiant with joy. No shadow of shame will darken their faces. In my desperation I prayed, and the Lord listened. He saved me from all my troubles. For the angel of the Lord is a guard. He surrounds and defends all who fear him. 1 Peter 5, 7-10 through 10. Give all your worries and cares to God, for he cares about you. Stay alert. Watch out for your great enemy, the devil. He prowls around like a roaring lion, looking for someone to devour. Stand firm against him, and be strong in your faith. Remember that your Christian brothers and sisters all over the world are going through the same kind of suffering you are. In his kindness, God called you to share in his eternal glory by means of Christ Jesus. So after you have suffered a little while, he will restore, support, and strengthen you, and he will place you on a firm foundation. 2 Samuel 22:31. As for God, his way is perfect. The Lord's word is flawless. He shields all who take refuge in him. Matthew 11, 28 through 30. Come to me, all you who are weary and burdened, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am gentle and humble in heart, and you will find rest for your souls. For my yoke is easy and my burden is light. Exodus 15, 2. The Lord is my strength and my defense. He has become my salvation. He is my God, and I will praise him, my Father's God, and I will exalt him. Hebrews 6, 19. We have this hope as an anchor for the soul, firm and secure. Romans 8, 6. The mind governed by the flesh is death, but the mind governed by the spirit is life and peace. John 14, 27. Peace I leave with you, my peace I give you. I do not give to you as the world gives. Do not let your hearts be troubled, and do not be afraid. Romans 15, 5-6 May the God who gives endurance and encouragement give you the same attitude of mind towards each other that Christ Jesus had, so that with one mind and one voice you may glorify the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. Romans 4, 22-24 you were taught, with regard to your former way of life, to put off your old self, which is being corrupted by its deceitful desires, to be made new in the attitude of your minds, and to put on the new self, created to be like God in true righteousness and holiness. Psalm 73, 26. My flesh and my heart may fail, but God is the strength of my heart and my portion forever. Lamentations 3, 22 through 23. Because of the Lord's great love we are not consumed, for his compassions never fail. They are new every morning. Great is your faithfulness. Hebrews 4:12. For the word of God is alive and active, sharper than any double-edged sword. It penetrates even to dividing soul and spirit, joints and marrow. It judges the thoughts and attitudes of the heart. Romans 8:31. What then shall we say in response to these things? If God is for us, who can be against us? Psalm 18:30. As for God, his way is perfect. The Lord's word is flawless. He shields all who take refuge in him. Job 15:11. Are God's consolations not enough for you? Words spoken gently to you? Psalm 34, 17 through 19. The righteous cry out and the Lord hears them. He delivers them from all their troubles. The Lord is close to the brokenhearted and saves those who are crushed in spirit. The righteous person may have many troubles, but the Lord delivers him from them all. Psalm 25, 5. Guide me in your truth and teach me, for you are God my Savior and my hope is in you all day long. 
Jeremiah 17, 8. They will be like a tree planted by the water that sends out its roots by the stream. It does not fear when heat comes. Its leaves are always green. It has no worries in a year of drought and never fails to bear fruit. Psalm 33, 4 through 5. For the word of the Lord is right and true. He is faithful in all he does. The Lord loves righteousness and justice. The earth is full of his unfailing love.